Welcome to Madden Science. Today we're learning about the difference between mass and weight. Let's take a look at mass versus weight. Starting with mass, which is defined as the amount of matter in an object. It's the amount of stuff. The unit for mass is the kilogram. The more mass in an object, the more inertia it has. Inertia can be thought of as the laziness in an object, or how stubborn it is. How much does it resist motion? So the more mass of an object, the more it's going to resist change to its motion. The mass of an object is not going to change. This is a major misconception, so pay close attention. On Earth, my weight is... And that translates to about 93 kilograms in mass. Well, hold up. A better way to say this would be that my 93 kilograms on Earth ends up weighing 205 pounds. Why is that? Well, on Earth, a one kilogram mass, when you put it on a scale, ends up weighing 2.2 pounds. Well, what is mass? And what are the masses of some everyday items, say for our favorite sports like football, basketball, tennis, and volleyball. Now what about the masses of things that are much bigger? Perhaps a Toyota Camry, or even something as big as the Statue of Liberty. Say if we go from the Earth, where we looked at the mass of me, and a football, and a tennis ball, and a car. And if we take those objects to the moon, or to Mars, or to another planet, it doesn't matter. Your mass is the same, even at the North Pole and even in Tierra del Fuego. Now what changes is going to be that object's weight. So the connection between mass and weight is that weight is proportional to an object's mass. And it is dependent upon the gravitational acceleration in that area, on that planet. Now when talking about G on Earth, or Earth's gravitational field strength, we've measured it to be 9.8 Newtons per kilogram. What that means is a one kilogram mass is going to be pulled down to the earth with a force equal to 9.8 Newtons as seen on this spring scale. So 9.8 Newtons of force for every one kilogram of mass. Now this unit ends up being equivalent to 9.8 meters per second Per second, or what our book commonly shows is 9.8 meters per second squared. Keep in mind too that the more massive the planet, the greater the force of that gravitational field. Here's a problem calculating my weight on Earth. Now we're using Earth's gravitational field strength, which is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. You could take a look at all the other planets in the solar system and figure out your weight based on the gravitational field strength on that planet, which is figured out based on the mass of that planet. A less massive object, like the moon, has much less gravitational field strength. Now we're off to Mars, which is going to be the site of our first problem. You'll notice that the gravitational field strength on Mars is significantly less than on Earth. In the movie The Martian, the main character, Matt Damon, finds a rock whose weight is 14.8 newtons. That same rock, back on Earth, would have a mass of 4 kilograms. What is the gravitational acceleration of Mars? Okay, let's start with the formula. Weight equals mass times gravity, which is a specific usage from Newton's second law, force equals mass times acceleration. What do we know? We know the weight on Mars is 14.8 newtons and that the mass on Earth is 4 kilograms. We're trying to figure out what is the gravitational acceleration on Mars, or g sub m. Head back to the formula. We want to isolate, using algebra, g. 
get it on its own. So divide both sides by m, and we can rewrite it so that g on Mars, or gravity on Mars, equals the weight on Mars divided by Mars's mass. Ah, which turns out will be the same as the mass on Earth. We plug in our information that we know, 14.8 newtons, divided by 4 kilograms, and that equals 3.7 newtons per kilogram. Let's head back to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Here we are trying a simulated version at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago. Okay, how about one more problem, this time with a fictional planet from the movie Interstellar. I wonder what the mass is of their really cool spaceship. They all seem to be struggling quite a bit just to walk. I bet it's because... Gravity's punishing. Been floating through space too long? 130% Earth gravity. Knowing this, they've got to be wondering how to calculate their ship's mass. Let's help them out. Now, if the gravitational field strength is 130% that of Earth's, we can multiply 1.3 times 9.8 newtons per kilogram and get 12.7 newtons per kilogram. The weight of the ship, let's say, is 25,400,000 newtons. Well, then what is the mass of that spaceship? We can use the same equation, W equals mg. And in solving for the mass of the spaceship on Miller's planet, we get the mass is W over g, or 25,400,000 newtons divided by 12.7 newtons per kilogram, which ends up giving us a mass of 2 million kilograms. How about a practice problem? Jupiter's gravitational field strength is 24.8 newtons per kilogram. What is the weight of this 50 kilogram barbell? That's it. Thanks for watching. This has been a Madden Science production. To, to infinity, infinity and, and beyond. beyond.